Okay, so today we're going to work on inside peg really the ice cream. Now you're going to need to have, this is for advanced riding, you're going to need to have inside peg really, time machine, time machine with the bike upside is down, and you should be able to ride out of a time machine into a peg really very comfortably. Um, it's basically just putting all these together and um, flipping the bike over to the upside down position. I'm going to assume you can already do a time machine and instead of riding out continue into a peg wheelie. So basically the scout will be teaching you how to flip over the bike and control that spin. Okay, you're going to want to practice rolling around on the edge of the peg. You know, the peg, the end of the peg will usually be underneath the ball of your foot. That's right, there, right after your big toe. Right there, where your foot can pivot on the peg without touching the frame. You're gonna practice rolling around like that with one hand on the peg and one hand on the handlebar. And you'll be just pushing around and practicing turning the bike over and pivoting. The best way to get a cut used to this pivot is roll around in a medium sized circle and eventually you will see the bike want to pivot naturally no matter which way you want to do it the bike will want to pivot naturally when the circle starts to get tight and you will pivot over and you will end up in an upside down time machine if you're having a hard time don't be afraid to tap the ground keep tapping that ground until you get comfortable pivoting In this pivot, you need to pay attention to the bike because what can happen is you can pivot too quickly and spin and just fall down flat on your face. Um, I don't think this is really a dangerous trick. As long as you pay attention, you can bail out. It's as simple as just jumping off the bike and onto your foot. Um, you don't really fall backwards in this trick because you gotta lean forward all the time. Lean forward, close in the circle. As soon as the circle gets small, you just pivot and you'll end up in the trick. You'll end up in the upside or down time machine. What will happen most of the time is you end up in this trick too quickly. You pivot too hard and you might end up going way too fast and you will just fall straight out of the trick. But don't be afraid. Just pay attention, pivot, put some control and you'll be safe. You'll end up in an upside down time machine like that. Okay, so you're riding your bike, you switch your foot, you put your foot on the inside circle, pull up in a peg really, you put it on the end of the peg. There's a moment where you have to switch your hand to grab that front peg. What do you do it like that or what do you do it on whichever side? What you gotta do is lean inward, have enough control one-handed, switch that hand, pull the frame to you a little bit, grab the peg, and then you need to control it. Don't bring the handlebar behind your back. The bike will be forward still. No matter how tall or short your bar is, the bike will always be forward. When you pivot, just let, let the bike naturally go into that time machine. Spin, don't try to go into the peg, don't try to go into the ice cream immediately. Spin, 
wait for the bikes to slow down and then it will be easier to go into that ice cream. Okay, so you're doing that peg really and on the inside and you switch your hand and you grab the peg but you're getting a problem to trip with the bike. Now this is after you have it dialed while touching on the ground and all that but while you're riding you can't trip it. It might help if you turn the handlebar a little bit inwards of the circle. So if you're rolling to the left, you turn the handlebar slightly to the left, switch and it will, might pivot easier for you. It might depend on the height and width of your handlebars, but you can try that and it might help you out a lot, it mightn't help you out at all. Okay, two more tips you want is remember to set your crank. I'm comfortable setting it in this position here. So when I pivot over, I don't run into the pedal. The next thing I always do is make sure my foot can always pivot and not touch the frame. Because if you do this pivoting trick and your foot touches the frame, you're gonna have a bad day. Illustrated.